Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Brewzilla Gen 4. So, uh, manufactured by Kegland. Um, one of the team here that builds the container orders of Kegland. I was quite excited about this becoming available and I suggested get one shipped express so that we can test it out, check it out and see what we think before we order in a full container load of them. Part of the video today is to give you an insight into what it looks like so you can make your own decision and also to allow us to check out what we think of it. So it comes as a all-in-one brewing system, similar to the, uh, the other varieties that, of these that we sell, Beacon Brewster, Brewmonk the Grainfather and the Spiral Browmeister. So we have a real range and selection of all-in-one brewing systems. So this one in particular has got a lot of upgrades since the version one came out. The most um, important one we would say is the controller. So pop the extension on just so you can see how high it is and the capacity it has. We've popped on the control panel here and you can see that you can adjust that. Um, obviously there's a little screw on the side here. One thing I think that they, they could have considered here is obviously the length of the cable and maybe making that just a little bit tidier. Um, but it, it obviously, you, it connects really simply and you just thread that in. And you can pop this out. Power cable goes in here and then connects to your plug. Just always remember with all all-in-one brain systems, please don't use extension leads because it can create a electrical fire risk. Connectivity has become really popular for some people in relation to being able to control things from their phone. Look at the success with the grandfather, for example. And they have actually brought out a system here that is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, allows you to collect data, operate it from an app. Uh, it's not my favorite way of brewing personally. I still very much like to be hands-on. I like to check the temperature, mash in, if I need to do step mashes, I sort of just look at my watch or look at my phone and say, okay, there's the time to do the next stage. If I want, I usually set an alarm to remind me to do things, but I like the hands-on and the dexterity of brewing a batch of homebrew beer, but I get that a lot of people like um, apps and IT, and I guess it's horses for courses, um, whatever suits you and whatever your preferred method is. So connectivity via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth um, allows you a lot more control over what you're doing and it also allows you to uh, capture a lot of data that would be the single biggest improvement with this i would say um, there's a false bottom now that goes into this as well and um, you can see they've popped two rings on it there's a little bit of a bend in it already we haven't used it but i assume that's because it's so tightly fitted just whenever one of the guys has been pulling it out to look at it it's put a bit of a bend in it um, it's also got a conical base just slide this off. It's a very subtle sort of dished base on it and you can see the tap is actually below the main vessel now as opposed to above. Um, there is quite a bit of movement in that tap there which I'm not 100% on but um, I suppose it's I can see the idea of why they've placed it here as opposed to above. Actual dish on the base of this has the element beneath it. So you can see that um, obviously that's a change in relation to the previous models. Um, obviously the pump is in the base. I think you can actually easily see it. So we can see um, magnetic driven pump here and obviously the silicon tubing recirculation pipe along the side. And then cam lock fitting on the top. And obviously you have the ability to control flow then with the pipe with this. And this just, <laughs> this just pops in with the cam lock fitting here for recirculation purposes. So you can see that the cam lock's very easy to use. And then obviously you've got your silicone tubing that will pop on here as well. There's um, embossed graduation markers here. There is um, these little clips. One of the unique things that um, Kegland have offered in this particular version, the Generation 4, is the ability you can add an extender pipe um, to allow you to do larger boils, which will be sealed correctly here. And then again, they're going to have a larger basket that you can buy so you can increase the volume. Um, quite dramatically as well. And if we look at the grain basket, so it is, the base of it is removable. 
You can see that that pops up and down. We can also see that they've um, added perforations to the base. Grandfather G40 did this as well recently in their upgrade. And you can see that they've added extra nodules to allow you to pull the grain basket out in stages. Obviously there's quite a bit of weight. It probably suits some people to be able to pull it out halfway, allow it to settle, drain off a little bit, and then pull it all the way out. The um, little handle just connects on here to allow you to be able to lift the grain basket out. Grain basket doesn't have a, a pipe running up the middle or anything anymore. Um, recirculation via um, you know the cam lock fitting that goes on to the pump. So extract should be good. Um, we're going to obviously run some further tests on it in relation to how it performs with a recipe. We just wanted to give you a bit of an overview and kind of unboxing type video to let you see the components yourself. Um, comes with a stainless steel immersion um, chiller. Now, it doesn't come with the fittings to allow you to attach to the hose locks and things like that there. Again, it could be argued that um, copper cools a little bit quicker than stainless steel um, because of the conductivity, um, but it still comes with the, the chiller and the ability for you to obviously add all the attachments. UK plug and power supply. The ability to control the pump speed and the ability to control the power on the control panel as well is obviously a nice little upgrade from previous uh, generations of the Breezilla. So that is the Breezilla very quickly looked at. Um, not forgetting obviously the lid, so glass lid with a hole in the middle. Um, they've added an extra handle onto it there as well. So you can see there's two handles as opposed to one. Um, we're interested, genuinely interested to hear your feedback. Um, we order off Kegland and bring in quite a few of their things. Kegerators, the Firmzilla pressure fermenters, lots of little um, fittings and things. I'm just keen to see what the feedback's like on this machine before we um, before we get our first order in. So, are you an owner of a previous generation Bruzilla? Um, are you keen on the upgrades? Have you enjoyed using one before? Is there anything else that you think they should be considering? Um, we're keen to hear in the comments below. Um, are you interested in pre-ordering one? Um, I guess for us, we're just really re reaching out to you with this video, give you an overview of the system, and we're keen to hear your feedback and engagement. So thanks so much for watching. Please uh, give us a subscribe and hit the little bell so you know whenever we release new content. And until next time, happy brewing.